guys, good morning and what's up? <laughs> I'm never this enthusiastic. I don't know why I'm so enthusiastic right now. I definitely have energy from this coffee. This is not, not sponsored by the way. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm gonna be doing like an everyday makeup look. Not every day, but just like a go-to. This is like my go-to makeup look and I'm gonna do it sort of chit-chat style. The last time I filmed one of these, it did really good. So I thought, why not do another one? Here we go, got that glow. As if you haven't seen me highlight my face enough on this channel. Okay, so to moisturize my face, I'm using the Fresh Seaberry... Mmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm using the Fresh Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil. This stuff smells really good, and it's just really nice. I'm just gonna rub that all over my skin because it is thirsty. So now that we're moisturized, I'm gonna go in with a primer. For primer, I'm gonna use the foundation primer from Laura Mercier. Like... Is that good? Is this how we do it? I think. So, how was your day, guys? <laughs> I swear, this is not sponsored or anything, but Laura Mercier is high key becoming my favorite makeup brand. Like, every single time I try one of their products, I'm never disappointed. For my foundation, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I normally use the tinted moisturizer, the illuminating one. That's still my favorite foundation. Like, that is what I use all the time. But they just sent me this one. This is like the new one. I don't know if this is out yet or not. I haven't seen it in my Sephora. This is a super like flawless finished foundation. But I like for the summer very like light thin. Kind of like a tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to mix it with my MAC strobe cream in gold light. This is just going to like give it glow. But it's also going to like thin out the consistency a little bit. To make it more like a tinted moisturizer. A little bit of my strobe cream. And then a little of the foundation. I'm trying to show you at the same time. Okay, now we're just gonna put this all over the face. I'm gonna use a flat top kabuki brush to blend this out. This is my favorite foundation brush. I've used this in a couple makeup tutorials. This is from e.l.f. and this is just like their... They actually say it's a powder brush, but I just use this to blend in my foundation. Hold up, just kidding, stop the video. Mm, mm. We need to have a conversation really quick. If you've watched my videos, you know that my favorite primer is the Too Faced Hangover, the coconut primer, right? Too Faced actually came out with a hangover setting spray. This is a thing. This is like a thing now. I don't have words for it. Again, this is not sponsored. I've just, I've never been this excited about a makeup product before in my entire life. I like to spray it on the brush and then blend away. I have like a little bit of a loving tan glow going on down here so I need to like match it to my neck because I don't put tanner on my face. Mixing it with the strong cream was a good idea. Do you see that glow? These two are totally like a dynamic duo. I really like it. Okay now I'm gonna move on to concealer and I'm gonna use this little Laura Mercier. This is like the cutest thing ever. It's this little pot concealer. It's called the secret concealer and I'm just gonna use this on my under eyes. I'm like using too much. I normally sweat it off throughout the day. That's gross, sorry. I'm gonna use a more like bigger fluffy brush to blend this out and also bring it across my eyelids because my eyelids are like super veiny. And then I'm gonna set that with again, my one and only YSL powder. I know this is like a little bit on the like high end like bougie side, but it is very worth it. It's the only powder I use. I'm just using the same brush because I'm lazy. Um, and I'm just gonna sort of pack that on just my lids and my under eyes, just where I put the concealer just to keep it from creasing. And then this powder, not only does it like set, but it's also going to like highlight as well. So it has like little tiny highlighting particles in there. Not to where it's like glittery, but you know, it's just gonna like brighten up my under eyes as you can see it sort of like did that. And it's very aesthetically pleasing. Now that like the main sort of like skin is done, I'm gonna move on to bronzer. I'm gonna use my Too Faced, the Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I'm gonna use this huge brush. This is like a Marc Jacobs like face and body bronzing brush, but it is so nice. So I was going to like play music while doing this cause I was like, I don't know what to talk about. Like it's a chit chat video. So I was gonna play music. That would be weird because while I'm talking, like I'm gonna have to pause it every time I have something to say because you're not gonna be able to hear me over the music. So there's no music, I'm sorry. So I hope you guys have been enjoying all of my travel vlogs recently. If you're new on this channel, hello. Recently I posted some travel vlogs because I've been traveling a lot and I'm actually doing another one. I'm going to Mexico at the end of the month. I was going to film like another video while I was in Mexico and I wasn't really sure like besides the vlog what I should do. So if you have any like cool ideas, leave them in the comments because I need some ideas. <laughs> I'm gonna use the same exact bronzer just with a more tapered small brush. This one's from Sephora. This is my favorite. Also, I like to take this under my lip. 
Yes, that looks nice. Okay, so I'm gonna do blush. I forgot a blush brush. Let me just, oh, true outfit exposed. For my blush, I'm using the Pink Leopard from Too Faced. I think this is actually like a bronzer. I'm not even sure, but it's pretty pink toned, so it's pretty. Very subtle, very light, and it's still like a bronzer, so it like mixes in, you know? For my highlight, I'm gonna be using this Sleep Palette. If you are looking for a really good, like inexpensive highlighting palette, get this. This is the Precious Metals Highlighting Palette. It has, ooh, it has three cream highlighters and then it also has like a powdered highlighter. I'm going to be using the... <laughs> okay. I'm going to be using the color... I'm going to be using this one. I think it's either Royal Gold or Renaissance Gold. I'm not sure which one. I'm going to take my little Pat McGrath highlighting brush and just sort of swirl that in there. And... Ooh. Yes. Super subtle. And like dewy. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Like a light sort of just champagne. Ooh! Oh my god, did you see that? Look at that! <laughs> Look at that pigmentation. Okay, well now my lip just looks a little, little much. But wow, that is crazy pigmented on your finger. Holy crap, that's a lot. I really love highlighting the tip of my nose. I don't know why, I think it's really adorable. Makeup. Oh yes. So we're done with like the face makeup. Now I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. I just sort of brush all the hairs straight up. I just have clear brow gel. And then I'm gonna use my on Okay. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil to fill my eyebrows in. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk. I keep like starting a sentence and then completely forgetting what I'm gonna say. So I get so many questions how I fill in my eyebrows. Actually, like nobody cares. How I fill in my eyebrows, I basically just make like a line underneath and then sometimes I'll bring a little bit up in the front just because they're like a little bit more sparse at the front. But I just make a line underneath and then I blend that out and conceal. Like I don't really... I don't really do too much. So I just make like a light line underneath my eyebrows. Like that's it. Like I just make like a line underneath like the shape that I want. And then I'm just going to use this. This is just like leftover foundation from mixing it. But I'm just going to clean them up underneath. That's the brow look. I want to like scoot the camera closer, but this lens doesn't have zoom on it. It's a set lens. I'm going to do eyeshadow, and I normally really don't do that much eyeshadow. I'm going to do it really light. This palette, we need to talk about this palette. Highly recommend that you go buy this, like right now. Add to cart. Go open link in the bio. Yeah, I'm just going to let you like look at it for a second. Can we talk about how pretty that is? It's so pretty. It is all the colors that I love. I'm going to take this little like round crease brush, and I'm going to use... This color, I'm just going to put this in my crease very lightly. That's a little much. Let's split it in half. There we go. And then I put it right in the outer corner of my lid. Pretty much all I do for eyeshadow when I'm like doing my go-to look is just put like a neutral brown in my crease and on my bottom lash line. That's about it. So then I'm going to take like this little pencil brush and I'm going to take this color like this darker brown and i'm just gonna put that underneath my lash line this mirror is like huge by the way it looks a little, it looks a little weird right now but wait till i put lashes on i'm gonna take my benefit roller lash which has been my favorite mascara recently okay so there it is there's the eye look with mascara on so something i've been doing recently that tons of people always ask me questions on so i like to use let me get them Okay, so I like to use, I normally will use the Ardell, the Demi Wispy Lashes. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called. So I'll take my eyelashes and I'll cut them in half. So I don't really like the way that the whole entire eyelash looks on my eye. I just like them sort of like wispier and longer at the ends of my eye. Like I don't obviously do this every day. This is just like my go-to look. <sighs> Gotta wait for them lashes to dry. Oh, the sun's coming back out. Yes, hello, hello, come back. I need you. I'm filming. I'm going to get really up close and personal with my mirror real quick. I might be like a little out of focus right now, but okay. Okay. So that's what it looks like. It's not like that huge of a difference, but it does make that little bit of a difference that I really like. Just sort of gives that little flirty wispiness to the eyes. Just yeah, <laughs> that's what it does. Okay. So lashes are finally on. There we go. That's what they look like. I really like the way that this looks. I feel like it's really flattering on my eye shape. I really like it. 
So now we gotta do my lips. I have like a weird mixture that I came up with last night um, that I was like, oh my God, let's do this. So I wanted to wear this color, but it's like super intense. I'll show you. This is from MAC. This is the bronze shimmer. It has like a frost finish. Look at that gold. Oh my God. So it's kind of intense. So I was like, I don't want like literal gold lips. So I put this down first as sort of like a concealing base. I'm taking this Buxom in the color Marrakesh. And this is just going to sort of be like my, I'm going to line my lips with this as well. It's just like this really pale natural nude shade. And this smells amazing. This just sort of like mutes down the gold so that it's not so crazy intense. I love glosses. I love the whole gloss thing right now. So I'm going to take this Anastasia lip gloss in the color Gilded and just sort of put that on top. Let's see. Look, that's the lip gloss over here, and then that's the lipstick. They're a really pretty duo. My everyday go-to lip color that I normally use is just like a clear gloss. Like I have the little Dior Maximizer ones that are just sort of clear. They don't really have any pigmentation. That's normally what I go for, but I thought that that was going to be kind of boring for this tutorial. Like I wanted the lip to pop. It's just sort of like a natural face with natural eyes, just pretty lashes. So I was like, let's do like a really pretty nude color because nude is normally my go-to. So I was like, it's still a go-to. But this combination, I know it's like a crazy combination, like who's going to wear three lip colors every day. But if you really want a nice gold lip, highly suggest this. It's really nice. And then of course, my lover, we're going to spray. But yeah, this is the finished look. This is just sort of like my go-to makeup look with like a really cool gold lip. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below those Mexico video ideas. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I post every Friday and every Tuesday as well now. All of my links will be in the description below, so go click those. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.